Hello guys, it's me, I'm Aradek from the Wombly. I'm the core developer here and I do front-end, back-end development and welcome in the new series when we will be talking about interview questions. I selected a lot of questions that people, that users, you and other people are asking about the technologies that we have knowledge with. Actually, we will be dividing that technologies for the few smaller movies we will be trying to tell about the technology, about that keyword. As far as we can go with whole episode and I will do it to make it the easiest to understand even for super beginners. So if you have not knowledge about programming yet, I'm sure it will be still good for you and you will get value. So you don't need a lot of programming background. You can be totally newbie. It will be really nice too. Today we will talk about here is the name of the topic that we will talk today. And remember, if you like the video, give us thumb up and subscribe the channel and turn on notifications. It's really important because you will see the next episodes as the first. Let's start. could learn how to manipulate with DOM in a very simple way. Like we created simple HTML element and created a script that was adding class to the element when the script loads. We did it in two ways. jQuery is still alive and still work to know at least basics. And the second one you learned is the DOM manipulation with pure JS. In this section we will go a bit more advanced. You will learn how to do DOM manipulation related to the event. In this case we will use the onClick method that we add to the button. We can specify what element should be selected by adding the id param to the function and we will be able to specify the class name that should be added to the element. Take a look at the code example that I've created for you. We have here element with id hero and button that can fire, I mean call, the add class function with the onclick attribute. Next, we have a JS script where we specified function named add class that can take id and class name as params. Inside the function, we iterate DOM to find an element with the id that we passed in the button and add a class attribute with a class name that we added when we fire add class function. I hope now you know how you can do some DOM manipulation based on the event like for example on click. Congratulations! 